Good kitten once more. Same day. I've done some shuffling around of things, hence why I look a little different on the camera. Um, I'm trying to rearrange my hair. I can have role-playing in here as well. So, last where we left off, we're exploring the outer sea. I think we're going to actually have to progress some plot points. I really don't think there's much left. Um, what am I doing on quests? I actually fill all of them. Double check. And I am right now. Not hard. Yeah, I have three more I can do. I just finish off all white magic. You know what? Let's do it. <sighs> Everybody's giving me birthday wishing greetings. I'm going to respond individually for the people who responded in um, Facebook or or I like making sure I give individualized responses back, if only because it's one of the few times I get to talk with people on a one-to-one -one basis. Usually I just have to talk to people, or talk to people online, but offline I talk to people and it all the time. Okay, um, let's reorganize this a little bit better, because I keep having problems reaching the spells that I want. Nothing's changed for the past several episodes, so let me give a reminder. Um, plot wise, the demons have gone raw, we're going to go still kill everybody, even though you killed mother. Yep, that's pretty much it. So, where I want to go now is the demon's lab. I want to say I found it over here. Yeah, it's that big island. Defense. Yeah, I will take one brutal attack. Or 90. Yeah. Not worth it. I can't reliably build it. is where we need to go, is to the demon's lab. This is going to start a sequence. Um, I'm going to do a save state. This is going to start a long sequence where we're not going to be able to go back quickly. So, just a heads up. Okay. So, plot. to my body. Mm -hmm. 
temporary ejection of the body by the consciousness. You think too much, my lady Harkin. So beautiful yet. Ah, uh, get back before I slice off certain parts of your anatomy. Only the souls of the warriors I have devoured sleep in my bosom. Want to know what that means? <laughs> Those words are too strong for me. I came here to serve you and protect the darkness tier. So apparently in the Japanese version or Altacodef, I'm not actually sure which one, this is a lot more explicit. Um, not, I mean, the game's still rated kids to adults, which there's certain things that you wonder how the hell this got rated kids to adults, but whatever. I don't need your dumb ideas. All I need is my As you wish. Please take care of the dark. Darkness to your share a similar beauty. So there is an opposite to um, teardrop. The darkness here. And there's actually a lot of, now that I'm going through this, there's a lot of similarities between this and Wild Arms too, but those are less obvious. So, this is the Demon Lab. Tell that this is demon stuff because of those stupid things. Bone is trying my patience today. Um, he threw up in my bed, apparently. You want to just jump into the box? You can. I'm not gonna stop. All right, we've got an elevator. Elevator to the door. All right. What type of enemies do we have in demons? Left? These should actually be easier than what we were just fighting. Witch doctor. Which one? Seriously. And two looks a lot like Medea, doesn't it? But yeah, Medea is a palette swap of those guys. Gonna make it wild, yes. Ben's trying. He's in. He's been in crazy cat hour mode for the past four hours. Ugh. I should look up to see if there's anything that can fill him up. Yes, there is. I already have enough. Welp. I forgot that they also have full on human experimentation. Let's heal. I'm just going to make another wild guess here. Okay, he's better now. this is a theme of demons. Pretty sure that's an arm? No, that's a regular chest. Prisoners! Get to them! I don't know why prisoners look like larvae. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but you know, whatever. I fruit. I think I went the correct direction by accident, so I'm gonna go. Rule of RPGs: always go the wrong way first. So if you can't tell, the reason why I have certain um, pictures up in certain order, like for instance Lady Harkin being above my head, uh, is because we're in the section of the game that we deal with that character. Um, Harkin, this is her section of the game, basically. Um, so yeah, we're in Lady Harkin's section of the game. Uh, technically, we're also in Zed's section that came up. Huh? 
Although we've already had Zed up. And, well, apparently some people don't like his handsomeness. Shame. Um. And you could probably notice a few things about her. Bazooka! You know what? I'm gonna go level up the bazooka then come back. I think the bazooka is going to be really useful and I have a crap ton of money anyway. Let's do that. I haven't leveled up Rudy. I'll do it in Adelaide just because. I need to teleport anyway, so. Yeah, I know technically I could just boat back to Noma Village, but I don't like that place. Adelaide and Court Siam are pretty much the only places I like. Oh, and Baskar. Um, no reason to refill it until after we talk with the Armsmeister, who's at Emma's place. Do you have anything? I've already gone to his lab. Alright. So. Does it actually say what the is? Yeah. So you'll notice it's an area of effect group, just like the Prism Ray was. Um, so we're going to be treating it very similar to the Prism Ray. Only well, one, its hitbox never gets good. Uh, honestly, we might be able to make the prism ray just. It's gonna take a lot more. We're going to improve the twin arms. I like having everything at aesthetically pleasing. Twin orbs is improved substantially. You'll notice that bazooka goes up a lot faster for attack power. So it's generally a better version of the prism ray. Bullets. Worth it bringing out. Prism Ray. We can make it more accurate. Prism Ray, I'm going to use without. Uh, um. Yep. That's actually maxed out. Okay, that'll work for now. I want Bazooka to actually be. And we'll actually get to show it off during this. Recently. Reload. In 27,000 Gela. Nice. Can't teleport in town, have to walk outside. How are you? Part of the problem with the way I'm recording these is that this isn't going up for another month from my perspective. This is September 4th for me. And this will be going up October... Is it October 5th or October 6th? I don't remember. But late. I'm committed to a, um, whatchamacallit, a three, or every three day scheme for uploading, but I'm thinking that I might actually need to switch back to every two future ones. Then again, I'm not going to be as interested in playing Wild Arms 2 as I Other. Alright, let's get ourselves back to the lab. 
probably have one or two random encounters. Gilmore's. But, but those are supposed to be for his glorious goods, not for anything else. But whatever. Uh, they have nothing. Wow, they're mages. I did not expect this. Okay. Fine. want to do is kill the Where I have that spell, right? Where did I put it? I apparently don't have it. Oh, guess I'm not going to steal their MP. I have it as a missile. Yes. Think it's able to run. Press one. There we go. your MP. Alright, now let's go back into the DM. right off camera in both ways. You can see him sort of on the other kitty cam. Now you can. Alright. I should have just aided. Well. Demon areas are kind of built for escape. Strike. Okay. Yep. Next. I hope people don't mind me zooming through the normal random battles. At least for enemies that we've encountered before, because I've been doing it for a while now. But I'm so many episodes ahead that people might not like it to end. I need to stop being so many. Freeze ring! Or aqua ring. I keep forgetting that it's both ice and water in this game. It's the thing I I think the reason why he's so antsy is that since his stomach's upset, he's up, he's free. Yes, I'm totally using hand pan even though I'm at very short range. Oh, finally I have a mega berry back. That's nice. 
flanking group. Carry and another potion. Energy saber. Yep, that's Rudy's. Okay. Does that actually make Rudy's attack better than Jack's? No. 50 off. Jokers, they had something about them. I remembered reading this after the video that I That's right. They actually have equipment that's valuable on them. They're actually one of the few ways of getting a lot of good money early on in the game. going to Mystic Holy Ring and finish off. Unfortunately, especially poor Cecilia. That's good. Okay. Never a good sign when there's a save point this early on in the. At 22 minutes, we're easily gonna finish Demon Mark. This is not that long. Right? I really need to detach that second member. Elevator going further down. Maybe I can just walk through the doors. Oh. I really don't like you. At least I'm status locked, so I don't. Know. I don't do it so often. I really don't remember doing it that often. Apparently, stealing from the Stokers is a roughly 90% success rate, and stealing from other enemies is a lower success rate. So, I'm not entirely sure what dictates my chance of success at stealing. Sounds like something I need to do at Let's Analog. Oh, we got this weekend. Fortunately, I go back to work tomorrow. Here. Really think you can? Mm 
with this right now, Uncle Ring? How about you deal with it? Just lock state so I don't have to care about the doctor. information from Demon Archives. Do you wish to turn it on? Your analysis complete. Demon gate. Correcting vector. Gate generator at 20%. We'll find out what that means. The darkness tier is complete. Ilgaia will be ours. Goodbye, humans! I don't know why I'm doing these voices. It just came to me. Equip you with an aqua ring as well, because I do have two of them. Probably take both of them. Oh, expense. The only way I can ensure human experimentation is not. them now that I think about it. I mean, I know they're weak against Holy, but maybe I could just kill them in one hit. Terminal will retrieve information from the demon archives. If you wish to turn it on. We have discovered the energy of the teardrop it can be reversed to create an anti-life force. The experiment continues. Search for the teardrop has led to the discovery of an ultimate weapon against the guardians. This time I made sure to re un er, unmute when I was done sneezing, unlike last time. Boy. Stupid FTL stream. Okay, so what happens if I equip you with a holy ring? Go after the. Freeze is a hell of a lot cheaper than, um, Fox State. Oh, dead. That didn't seem like a weakness. I couldn't tell. Really hard to tell with a critical hit also. Oh, that's a lot cheaper MP-wise. Also faster. Terminal will retrieve information from the demon archives. Do you wish to turn it on? Retrieval of the underwater golem, Leviathan. Complete. Leviathan. Not Leviathan. Leviathan. Ammunition equipped. Ready for battle. We scientists are working on the latest weapons. You will be our next to guinea pigs. Exterminate! Exterminate! Sorry. Is that going? Okay, yes, that is a weakness. It's not quite enough damage. Hopefully I don't get experimented. Okay, good. Oh, it's dead anyway. That works. Or not. And they 
are we? Just not that weak. Good to know. Please choose your parameter. But then up seven out of eight golems have been retrieved. Implement working golems to the front lines. Modder model Arbor of Barbados was found to be uncontrollable, terminated all retrieval data and dispose of it in much concern for the golem still posing a threat. Data changed. I think I had to do that one to open up. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. I was correct before, but I need to actually display the data after changing. These were the golem. This is the golem data. Fine. Yeah. Display the data. Then I get the password. Lock ID code. Unit gate needs to be. I mean, yeah, I could have just read it, but better to show how we get the information. It was not Harkin, it was Demon Gate. match found. Alright. We're here. Fully healed. Now we are. Resonating. Eardrop is resonating. If it's... Because it's a fake. It's the darkest of souls within it. Harkin, we meet again! This time we share a common sword technique. Many tales we have shared, but the warrior needs no words. Let our swords do the talking. You have a scythe, not a sword. Just saying. You're also using sword techniques. All right, Harkin 2. So this is a very similar battle to Harkin 1. Tempest. Yeah, this is the fast one. I guess you're not going to see Bazooka this week. Ah, so it's only 35 minutes. 
Fangnam Fang. This is the new one. It's actually a pretty powerful attack. Uh, it's going to be the one that I'm probably going to drop the cost of. Because Magnum Fang is really expensive, if I remember right. How many were? Still a lot of damage. Uh, you need to heal. Just you. Blink. Tempest! Less damage. Steel Blade will bring Cecilia back up with that. With her Rudy. Rudy punch in the middle. Oh, crap. I still have their rings equipped. That doesn't help at all. the power of rocket launch. No, we didn't. We increased the power of rocket launch. Let me keep going up here. Tempest! Uh, for some reason, Twin Orbs does a lot more damage than Harkin Tempest, and I don't understand why. Then Slash Raid. It just seems to hit more often. That worked. Witnessed. They leveled up. You witnessed Cecilia leveling up. Funk. Hey, look, it's a human. Just like Harkin appears, if you didn't notice. Jack seems to recognize. <laughs> we can't give you the darkness to your or Lady Arkin. You'll have to come after me if you want them. Ark. There's loot in here. So, what's all about? I should have known that sword technique. A real fool who couldn't face reality was me. Probably already know. But I'll tell you anyway. And pull a clip. Okay. Man, it'll be nice when I can actually buy potion berries in that. Um, I think we're done here. Cast teleport and escape. Or cast escape and then teleport. Or. Hmm. And we. It's time. What? That's a. Uh... An army of demons is coming down. Yep. The same thing that attacked Adelaide. This is the demon gate. You can travel through space using dimensional shifts. It has many useful purposes. Transport is one of them. Tearing Darkness is the Anti-Guardian. Welcome to the Gate Generator! Have fun, my friends! Yep, this time, Siegfried's not screwing around. He's just teleporting you.
Okay. Time for gate generator. What? How is this possible? We're in a, um, color changing room. Good morning. This is the gate generator. It's our demon gate and your grave. Get it? It's going to be fun here on boys. Run for, ah, it's going to be fun from now on here, boys. Run. I cannot speak or read, apparently. It's going to be fun from here for, from here on, boys and girls. I have you in the palm of my hand now. Appetizer, anyone? Yeah, I don't know why Siegfried's gone to Kefka mode at this point, but whatever. So amplifiers are the higher level versions of the zone enders. They're obnoxious. Also, you'll notice that I'm not healed at all. I mean, my hit points, but I'm at my MP. And I still don't have an area of effect against everybody attack on Jack. Anyway, Celia, you have a very important duty of lock state. Lock state. These enemies are obnoxious if they don't attack. Like melee attack, that is. Melee attacks are easy. Uh, speaking of, is there anything I need to be stealing from them? I have to actually. Fire. Magic carrots. I mean, I can. Probably not a terrible idea, but it's fine. I would actually rather learn that. I might as well magic carrot now. Just because both of them can use the MP and I'm don't believe there's any way for me to restore MP other than using carrots. Are they going to just I think, I'm okay with this too. There's confusion, which I don't have to care about. I'm immune to this. Guardian. Punch. How did they go first this time? Whatever. Bring the bright! This thing looks so creepy. The bout! There's far fewer guardians. Except there's a cat right here. in an unstable dimension. You could explode from all the energy that you create in the battle. I knew that would happen. I will not let you. I will chase you until the end of the world. Welcome to Gate Generator. Yep, there's treasure chests. Carrots? Flip clip. Carrot. Magic carrot. Yep. This is your form of healing, basically. Um, I might as well use a bullet clip, actually. And maybe not have only used three bullets total. Forty-four minutes. I guess we're going to continue. Okay. Um. So. We don't do this part of the way through a video, but I don't I have a choice. Oh, you'll see. device seals the door is shut. Back 
to these goobers. so creepy when zoomed in like that. They're winking at you. That leveled up, though. So I've got that going. And that's right. Here I am, dripping with talent, ready to do battle. One moment. I think that I need to change the image. To yours true. You're not gonna get out of here off, off easy this time. Watch my phenomenal attack! The drop floor! This leads to my favorite sequence ever. Just grapple directly onto Zed's chest. It's awesome. That hurt! What do you think you're doing? Shut up, you annoying bastard! Operation Hell Thunder! Walk away. Hello, Thunder! So, yep, we've got a Z sequence. This is Operation Hell Thunder. The electricity through the floor was mighty ingenious of me. Arg! I don't know why he says Arg. Maybe he's just really weak? I don't know. Anyway. Not hard to skate past that. None of this is very hard, by the way. It's just funny. Is this side the middle? I can't remember. Oh, thunder! Leprechauns and another amplifier. Uh, what do leprechauns have? Leprechaun. Uh, they also cause confusion. We're gonna have a lot of status lock. Also, they don't have any good. Like your magic character. I'm gonna be using a lot of magic. Oh crap! Got it off first, and it's going towards. Please just resist it. You did. Good job. Sister. Okay. No. I will not be silenced. Oh, I still... Yeah, I remembered. Uh, unequip the dark ring. Off. Forgot to unequip it off of Jack, though. I oh, ooh, slow down. Oh, I had a thought to work on that. Good to know. I have to remember to unequip them. You know what? You also summon a guardian, Rudy. Alas M. Zu! This is the lower level version. Very similar attack, only it's much weaker. Weaker. Going that way. I have to turn 
off the electricity. Hey, look. Look, are you winning, is it? Sure. Hey, look, electricity's off. Oh, Zed. I feel so bad for you. Speaking of, I should probably go back to St. Centaur at some point to see if anything's changed. You should still lock stick. I think they're weak against Holy, but let's find their shadows. I missed against both of them. I still have yet to figure out what exactly. Question marks. Straight ahead. Yep, that's what I thought. Punk. And you're dead. Hell over, even though I didn't need to. Oh, this is where I had to go. Very legendary mega force unit. Who's next? Oh, that's the one that increases how much force you get. That. Ooh. Probably have that equipped on Cecilia if I'm being honest. But I don't want to lose the MP. Oh, who's that? Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, that means I obviously went the wrong way and I'm gonna go Or went the right way. Let's fast forward. Fankle vine? What the hell is a Fankle vine? Whatever it is, it has totally cool sunglasses as loot I can. I'll analyze it though. I've been slacking in my analysis. And punch in the face. Where are you I'm damaged too. Okay, so I punched it for a little over 500. Has level 40, 2400 hit points, and not weak against anything. Also has no MP. Can't steal that. Cut down. Ow. Hurt. Screw it. It's gonna take a long time. Chaos! Nothing. Best specs just don't work. Or they don't work on anything you want it to work. How about that? That's worth a lot of XP, actually. Bosses. I'm actually going to put for it. Even though that drops her sorcery a lot, it's worth it. Eventually, her sorcery will be so high that I won't care. That's silly things like equipment. I still don't have that window active. Ooh, I got ambushed. I break. Ah, oh, crap. Suppose if I can gast it, they should be able to. Yep, gremlins can heal along with their descendants. Do I have a better way of raising it? Fighting mages. But mage. Also, Jack is really hurt now. Antarian. 
Punch of carrots. Okay. I really want to see Shadowbind do something. Dealt to zero damage to- oh, okay, it did in fact par paralyze them this time. Didn't heal anything. Also, nice full heal there. Might have wasted a potion berry, but that's okay. Now they're all picking on Cecilia. Question marks. This best ability, question marks. My flame. No, you won't. Oh! But I cast anti magic. No, that's right, I backed out and used randomizer instead. Never mind. My guardian version. You can tell it's higher because there's like beams sticking up. Also, they're all weak against holy. Okay. I want to see if this even works. So I would much rather spend the MP on Saint. I don't even know if I hit it here. Uh, Jack in one shot. So we can definitely. The same amount of MP as casting status lock. Probably a better plan. to open the door first. Try without status lock. I actually killed him off. I was not expecting it. Probably should have. They have 16 inch hit points. Ah, poopy. Just silence. It's fine. Okay, I can make this work. Notice how fast Cecilia's force is going up from force unit. Force unit is pretty awesome on certain characters. Uh, Jack and Cecilia primarily. Not that useful on Rudy, to be honest, because Rudy really only needs his first force ability. Uh, Violet Rose... Pull the lever, that lifts up, but the door opens. Hence why I needed to do that. Over instead of falling through, and I get loot. Press graph, secret sign, warp clip. Plus side, I can use secret sign. So I've been told that using a secret sign on something question marks makes it much faster to learn. As in it's supposed to be learned the next time you use it. We'll find out. I'm gonna use it, most likely. When in doubt, right now. Nope. 
Didn't happen. I was gonna use it on that ability anyway. So that's fine. Bad omen. That's not. Yep. Good job. I cursed myself. Okay. Whatever. So, finally get to see the effects of curse by somebody other than me. Very little of the game that actually curses me, other than, well, me. I cast invisible at the same time that I'm cursed. Yes, I can. That's awesome. This curse goes away on its own. I got the loot. So, I think they basically counterbalance. I'm gonna finally try using them. No reason, just wanted to. Question marks? Nope. Okay, he's already silenced. Maybe he cast heal, don't care. And nobody attacks Celia. <laughs> Dance, suckers! This one. That sucks. So many bullet clips. Fine, I will finally use one. So it just fully restores ammo. That's all. Is this thing gonna go away on its own? I'm starting to wonder. We'll find out if it outlasts. And we'll see. Very dead. Sleep. Really? Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, that is bad. That's so bad. Yeah, sleep goes away at the end of combat. That's what I thought about. So, we saw Root. Uh, we saw, um dead. Well, it's not gone. I might as well use the holy symbols that I never use. So, he went up. I'm gonna go down, I think? That's ah, a big thing again. strong in general. Yeah, strong and solely. Good to know. Dead now. Goodbye, Frankelvine. Hector! This was the thing I was trying to get off of Medea. And I see Zed walking around. Looking around, seeing if anybody's watching him. 
then he hits a button in the middle of those pipes. Where is that? Weird. Where could he have gone? Certainly not inside of that suspicious doorway looking thing. Oh, hey, look. Uh, battle. We're over an hour. This is a long one. I really want to have this ability. Oy. We can take hits. Good job, pretty much. Please, just let me have it already. Can I actually figure out what Serenade did? Yes, that's restore. That's... Um... Yeah, I don't see it. Probably gonna die in Jack's turn. Cut down. You die from getting whacked with a stick. Really good XP. That's a plus, right? Okay, I actually need to. And apparently, OneNote wants me to create a new section now that I've been clicking on. You'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. I somehow, even though it's been 20 years, I remember this puzzle. And Zed comes out and then finds hmm, lucky bastards. And he just doesn't bother. I just love that. Otherwise, you have to use the um, watch. Okay, now I'm about to fight things. Um, otherwise, you have to use the watch and reset the road, basically. Because for some reason, I remember this entire sequence. I didn't remember one of the previous dungeons, but I remember this section really well. Nope, we're gonna continue. I know I'm already running late. But this is important. Diablo, the Crimson Hellstorm! Taste it for yourself, my friend. We've got a bit of a boss rush going on, just a fair warning. Alright, Diablo, fire. I don't remember if it's actually weak against or not. Try to find out. Really hoping I would have bows. Uh, we're going to high shield. I'm gonna punch me. Yes, it is weak. But I didn't see how much damage it dealt. But it was three digits, which sucks. Crimson Storm! Ow. So if it is weak, that means high freeze makes sense. And we're going to dump some rockets into Crimson Storm! I need to heal every so often, unfortunately. Time 10. The high freeze itself is going to do 3,000. Yeah. Strong physical defense, low magic defense. Got it.
Guardian. Wait. Because you have the Ice Room. I'm going to temporarily give you a different one. Temporarily getting Flash Room. Silly is going to get the Ice Room. Really? Blade Cecilia, we're going to High Guardian the Ice thing, and Rocket Launcher, why not? Aru Sulato! This is the High Guardian form of it. I don't even know if I've seen the High Guardian version of it. Six thousand six hundred and fifty-six. Flamethrower. Okay. Return to your medic attack. You are going to Mystic Potion Berry because that's actually better than Restore or uh, Aura. And you're going to rocket launcher some more. So Cecilia just needs to go faster than Diablos. And she does. Unfortunately, she's my primary damage dealer. Why, well, it'd be nice if Jack also had an area of effect healing, but he doesn't. And pretty much everything Diablos is doing is in effect. That's not that many hit points. Probably almost. Should have equipped the. Five thousand damage is pretty nice, though. Nice crits. Wait, that crit did damage though. It was from Sonic Vision. Wait, the counter attacks? Dude, I never knew that. Huh. I really never knew that's how that worked. No, you have defeated Diablo as well! Run away! Alright, we're going to need to carry. Because we've got a lot of bosses to fight. Not, well, maybe not a lot. We have bosses to fight. Really hoping I would have learned the ability by now. My defenses are not working! Damn it, there's no time to screw around. I'll use my Tempest strat. You will suffer dearly, humans. Please enter the password. There's literally no password to the <laughs> You fool, something will open to any password. Does your pea-sized brain hurt? Oh, this here hurt, does it? Please, my lord Siegfried, let me in! They're already here. I need to psych myself up before I fight them. Yep. You ready for this? Low rumbling sound. It must be a huge machine. Do you want to go in? So, we're at an hour and 14 minutes. I should have stopped by now. But we need to finish this in my mind. But... So I'm going to let this one run really long. I'm sorry. Yep. You pesky maggots are getting in the way of my career! You will be condemned to death without appeal! This is the power of the Immortal Reborn, a gift from Al-Hazad. Here we go! Get back, this is not your caliber, you squirmy snake. Uh, uh, Lord we can't have you running around messing things up. We need to acquire this world for settlement. aid has gone, we need a new home. Cut the crap, you can't fool me. You betrayed your mother because you wanted to become the ultimate ruler, right? Um, that's actually not true, but he doesn't know that. Say what you will, 
I like it here, unquote. And I will become the ruler. Exterminate the humans so we demons can rule both heaven and earth. Yep. First battle against Siegfried. Honestly, I really think Zed should have been fighting as well, but the magical saber, Glumzamber, will skewer you. So that is a horrible mistranslation. Um, it is supposed to be the spear that um, Sigdi has. I can't remember the name of the spear now. Um, the Zamber part is um, Daibatsu. It's a really bad translation because in Japanese they were trying to go for a reference to Nordic myth. And in English they didn't realize that was the reference, so they uh, did whatever. Anyway. Oh, I still have the ice things equipped. I need to. Also, I have the wrong equipment for people. Deke Impulse! Bonk. That's one of his weaker attacks, by the way. Lots of crits going on, though. Anyway, let's get rid of it. The Siegfried cares nothing for that. Just out of curiosity, you don't have a better ring yet, right? Unless you want better vitality at the cost of strength. Twin orbs. Let's go. Siegfried actually looks pretty cool in my mind. Negative rainbow! Yep, that is one of his nastier attacks. It actually worked. Nice. That wasn't so. Move that up top. Doing more damage now, at least. That should help quite a bit. Seriously. Get Rainbow again. That might be in trouble. Ooh, Jack has six hit points. Oh, that was not what I wanted to have happen, but that's okay. Um, you're going to Mystic. Oh. I'm going to Mystic Mega Fury. Just because. I should have healed last round. Come to think of it, I could have Mystic Potion Buried if Jack had heal bladed himself. That would have worked. Well, too late now. Negative Rainbow is the nastiest of attacks, because I have no area of effect um, protection against things. So it's basically the Rainbow spell, only it's multi target. That's it. Back to your question marks. Cecilia, you really need to cap. Not restore. Aura. Rooney. Please just let it work properly. Yeah, that's way better. Good job, Jack. That was fun. Bloom Subber! Sonic Vision, High Guardian, screw it, I'll just use the damage.
Actually, didn't do as much damage as I was thought it, thinking it would. Pretty, that's fine. Please, just let that stupid thing work already. Um. I knew the Guardians were involved. I will not let them do it. And now it's time for everything to go sh to hell. You think you've won? Think again. My dreams and aspirations have just begun. Time for round two. Turn the generators on, Zed. Output at 200%. Ah. <coughs> Can't do that, my lord. An overload! No, that will create a. Yes, a black hole. Right in this room. What, what should I do? Notice that Zed isn't quite acting like a fully loyal stooge. I don't know what you're trying to do, but. Surrender! Surrender? Me? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I'm gonna activate the generator. Everyone in here will be sucked into the dimension gap. Of course, I'll be sucked in as well. But I will recover because I am the ultimate ruler of this world. I will never die here. Talking about, but here comes nothing. No way! I need you to pay very close attention to what's about to happen. There's been a lot of hints as to what might be going on, but now is where everything goes to hell. Rudy! Alright, my lord. We'll see what happens. Escape. What are you going to do? Going on a trip with me to the vortex. We're trying to cut it. If you can cut wires with those flimsy swords, they're made from magic silver. Wait, what? Cut off your own left arm? Bonk. And it engulfs everybody. He lopped off his own left arm. Yep. And teardrop time. And he's kind of missing a limb at the moment. everyone needing to get home. Mention the castle, the town. Technically, she has a teleport spell. She should have been able to just go, bye! Next thing I knew, the teardrop brought us here. Oh yeah, Rudy's arms hurt! Good. I'm gonna get lost in the dimensions. That, that's good. This possibly... us? Rudy's body. The arm. Worry about if magic be heal him. No, can't be. Rudy's body's a machine. Like the demon. Rudy, I, I. Princess, if we don't support him in times like this. Who will? And Jack's true form starts appearing. 
remember, think about way back toward the start of this when I mentioned that Jack is who other people thought that I was. Cecilia is, or sorry, Jack is who I wanted to be. Cecilia is who other people thought that I was. And Rudy is how I felt that I was myself. Look, he's shaking. He doesn't know himself. It should be he doesn't know himself, but whatever. No one wants to be outside, right? Well, I just found out he is one. He's been protecting us all along. We should do the same in return. You're right. Be okay, Rudy. Professor Emma from Adelaide should be able to help you. Good going, Princess. She should be able to... Uh, if the old man were alive, we'd know more about this. Now, Rudy didn't ask her. Not a machine made for destruction. Parallels from earlier on where Cecilia was talking about the Earth Bowl. And Jack is, in fact, strong enough to lug Rudy behind for his back. Mind you, Rudy weighs a few tons because he's a metal demon. No way. I'm back on the control chair of the photosphere. Uh, I was sucked up by the gate generator. I was close. I thought I was going to be lost in another dimension. So, it's ironic that I'm back at this place of hatred. Hatred between a child and a parent. I made it through, they probably. The, for once, these villains are smart. Siegfried in particular is actually very intelligent. Um, he doesn't quite fall for the normal tropes, a la, hey, look, if I survive, that means that the heroes had to have survived. There's no way in hell that they didn't. And also the whole, you know, I've got a big problem. The heroes are going after my big problem. Why not just help the heroes? Oh. This I will gain control of Logaya. I and I alone will rule this world. The demon race shall reign again. <laughs> this. Someone else here. Up further. <laughs> this is a bad dream. Yep. This Bye. Bye. Freaky. Freaky. <laughs> um. How is that for a series of complete 180 plot shifts? I can't help it. Dang, Rudy's body is... Anatomy is the same as you. Bones, muscles, nervous system. They're all the same, except for the fact that everything's artificial. It's like the bodies of the metal demons and legends. Or, you know, in reality, probably go talk to Zed. It can't be. No, not a demon. Looks like he was made by a human. Feels pain. He's a machine that feels pain. Why would anyone want to do that? Things don't matter. It doesn't matter. I can never help the people I really care about. Yep. You also get to see the real Jane. This is the point of the game where everybody drops their pretenses. Um, the princess didn't really have much in the way of pretenses ever since the um, invasion of Adelaide. And Rudy's a silent protagonist, and he didn't know he had a pretense, but he did. He's he's a home cross. Um, that's a mistranslation, but he is a golem, basically. 
He's a very intelligent golem, but he's effectively a golem. Um, after uh, Between these episodes, I'll look up what the actual translation is supposed to be. It's not Home Cross. That was the reason why I told you not to Google that, because you will only find Wild Arm stuff. Sorry, I... Remember, Emma prior to now was also the, I am a kick-ass professor and I know everything. All of a sudden, she doesn't know things, and she's admitting that she doesn't know things. Calamity Jane. He's this badass that just waltzes right on in and does stuff. And she was a little afraid about her identity being revealed to the orphans. But she was still being a badass. And started showing a little bit of emotion. In this case, though, she's bawling. Um, I think the remake, she's actually crying. I'm not sure. I have not actually played through it. I don't know if it, how it works, but... Rudy's body is the same as a human body, except that the material he's made of. You get herbs from Mariel in the town of Rosetta. Those herbs will probably... See? Don't give up all hope. Jack, you should take care of Rudy. The rest of you should prepare for an invasion in case the demons try to take advantage of the situation. Okay. I can do that. Captain, prepare the sweet candy for battle. Got it. No one can take me on the ocean. Go away, Pedo Pants. Must work for our friendship, Rudy. Okay, everyone. Hey, no time to sit around. Your friend needs you. Yes. He is our friend, isn't he? So, there's one criticism I have of Wild Arms, and this is highlighting it. It fails Bechdel. They do not have a conversation in the entire game between two named NPCs named... Um, NPCs who are women. Um, there's one exception right in the beginning of the game, like during Cecilia's starting sequence, but I don't really count that given that there's no other characters yet. Um, but each of the major NPCs, even there, there's multiple women who are NPCs, none of them talk to each other about somebody other than Rudy. Why we care about him so much? You stupid. Why would you think have to think about that? You've been fighting for all this time. Protect your loved ones, right? Not for some cheap bullet destiny or mission in life. Get a clue, girl. Figure it out. I'm being very frustrated listening to you. Thank you. I feel better. Pretty really said you had a big heart. Enough! Go, McDullen. Gotta blow off a cannon or something. Gotta get rid of this rage. That's my lady. Alright, every minute counts. Let's get to the town of Rosetta. I'm going to just save when I... Notice, near down Rudy. Stays that way for a little while. But I'm just going to save an extra. I wanted to get through this sequence, even though I know that this probably should have been split up into two episodes, but... I didn't want to leave it part of the way through the plot, because then, three days later, you might not remember what happened right before, and it was important to me. Um, Jack is no longer- at this point of the game, Jack is no longer the person who I want to be, or I thought. This is where things get complicated. It's part of the reason why this game means so much. Jack is still the person who I want. Just before, I had a more- young teenager ideal of I want to be somebody who can be a hero I can, you know, save the world and be total badass and have a totally awesome spirit mouse as a friend, but act serious. Um, this is more the way that I strive to be. At this point of the game, Jack is less hey, look, I'm going to be this tough, gruff guy that's going to pretend to be everything and has now become the more crap, what the hell happened? No, we need to help our friend. Which, again, that's me. It's the me of now. It's the ideal of me now, rather than the ideal of me when I was, you know, would have been 13 when I played this. Roughly 13. Um, Cecilia. Cecilia is the person who other people thought that I was. Um, prior to then, 
people were looking at Cecilia as a person that was a figure, a representative of power, um, a very intelligent person that would represent, and they weren't looking at Cecilia directly, they were looking at what she can do. That's the way I felt a lot of other people looked at me. Um, they didn't look at me as, hey, look, I'm Shivers. They primarily looked at me as a person who has a cat that just climbed the cat tree, uh, or cat fishing pole. Pole? Fireman's pole, there we go. Um, no, um, they primarily looked at me as, hey, look, I'm the person who knows lots about computers. I'm the person who knows lots about That's shifted a bit. Now Cecilia is the leader. And this is the point of the game where I can say that Cecilia is the main It looked like Rudy. It looked like Rudy for a long time. Cecilia. And I've definitely seen some media later on that definitely points toward... Cecilia being the main character, and that's who I consider the main character of Wild Arms. Uh, it's a lot more obvious for Wild Arms 2 and 3, 4 in some ways, but Cecilia is the main character and is the leader. At this point, people aren't looking for her because she's the smartest one. They're not looking at her because she's the princess. They're looking at her because she's taking initiative and stepping up and being the leader. Kind of like how people looked at me once I became an adult. Kind of hits that way in the workplace. A lot of other things. Anyway, I rambled on a little too long, and then get a little emotional, which is fine. But I have a lot of other things to do tonight, and it's... I still need to clean up the vomit that Zone left on my bed. Thanks, cat. Probably replace the replace as in take off and put on new uh, mattress protector because good night anyway. Been a really emotional. I'll see you next time.